last night, two men were surveying the area. Uh, after midnight, no, nagtingin-tingin daw sila, mga nakatakip daw, mga nakatakip yung mukha at saka nakasombrero. This is the second time. Merong nagtry pumasok dun sa property last year, no? Um, tumunog yung yero. So, good thing mag mabilis magising yung forma namin. Sabi ng aming mga kasamahan, yung mga lalaking nagmamasid-masid daw ay tumayo doon. So, ito yung barracks namin. Itong bubong na to, no? So, ito yung likod ng property. Tumayo daw doon, tapos pumunta doon. Tapos pumunta ulit doon. Welcome back to our channel. We are now on week 39. Today is Tuesday. We usually start our week on Mondays, but the thing is, I was editing yesterday. So when I got here, ito na yung naging progress nila. Marami na akong namiss. So ito na yung progress ni na Brother Mario, June, and then the rest of the team. Let me show you. Ito na tayo sa second floor. Ang bilis lang nilang nagawa. So, ah, sa gitna, tapos na. So, this is the hallway leading to the master bedroom. Hallway on the second floor. Saan yung pwede? Okay. I'm scared. Wait. Sa gitna, pwede? Ha hanggang diretso? Okay. Saan si na Brother Dance? Woo! So scary. Yeah. Hi, Kuya Lidio. Ano na po to? Final coat? Good afternoon. Final coat? Wow, final coat na. Oh nga. Wow. Okay. Ay. Ay. <laughs> Ito pala si Brother Daddy. <laughs> Hello, Brother Danny. So, ayan. So, si Brother Danny and ang kanyang partner na si, ang kanyang sidekick na si Ivan ay gumagawa ng ating downspout. Hi, Ivan! Yan, ang aming bunso. <laughs> okay. Kung mapapansin nyo po, halos lahat ng external work sila Brother Danny at si Ivan ang tumira. Yung Brother Danny's? <laughs> yung, ex, yung mga ano talagang pinaka mga delikado sila yan, yung sa taas, sa bubong sa walls electricals so sila yung gumawa kasi isasabay na to sa final paint yan, so kailangan makabit na rin yan and then, yung ating mga pintor na andito rin sa side na to mag-tiles dito sa second floor. Natapos na po ni June and ni Brother Mario ang pagtatiles. Ngayon, nag-grout na si June sa baba. And then, meron lang tayong tinira dito banda sa may pinaka-edge. Kasi, magkakabit pa tayo ng mga railing ng staircase. No? So, hindi pa tayo pwede mag-tiles hanggat hindi natin nalalagay yun. Si Kuya Lidio naman ay nagpa-final Final coat. Final coat ang tawag, kuya? 
Opo. Yan. So, naandito na siya sa pangatlong kwarto. Kaya na umaga na ginawa niya yung master bedroom, yung kay Hope kahapon. At ito naman yung pinakahuling kwarto dito sa baba. Pero i-detach mo pa yung sa baba ko yan, di ba? Opo. Ayun. So, so far, yun na lang yung, yung uh, kailangan namin dito. Dito sa second floor, ang pinakagagawin pa ay itong pintura sa labas. Ceiling dun sa banyo. And then, yung hagdan. Pagkatapos, yung balcony. Huli na yung balcony kasi ginagamit yun as access ngayon eh. And then, dito sa sa area ng stairs. So, praise God for our accomplishment. No? Today is Wednesday, the third day of the work week. Hello mga tangay, we just came back from Malay Biyaya and we had a short meeting with our team and we were told that last night Pwede silang Quezon? Yung Natanya? Sorry We were told that last night two men were surveying the area uh, after midnight no? nagatingin-tingin daw sila mga nakatakip daw mga naka Kip yung mukha at saka nakasombrero. Sabi ng aming mga kasamahan, yung mga lalaking nagmamasid-masid daw ay tumayo doon. So, ito yung barracks namin. Itong bubong na to, no? So, ito yung likod ng property. Tumayo daw doon, tapos pumunta doon. Tapos pumunta ulit doon. Tapos doon ulit. So, kumbaga nagtitingin-tingin sila. The good thing is, maraming aso dito sa kapitbahay namin. So, talagang tinahulan sila. Meron ding tuta dito ng kapitbahay. So, tinatahulan sila. This is the second time. Merong nagtry pumasok dun sa property last year, no? Um, tumunog yung yero. So, good thing, mag mabilis magising yung forma namin. So, meron kasing mga balibalita na may mga nagnanakaw na pumapasok sa bahay, nagnanakaw. Hindi ito nangyayari sa Palawan before. Pero, yung previous months, like last last month, dun sa same road namin, merong ninakawan. So, it's, it's, a, it's a concern. At the moment, hindi pa namin mapatayo yung aming bakod kasi hindi po talaga siya kasama sa budget yung sa house fund namin, no? separate siya it is 500,000 pesos and hindi pa namin siya nababudgetan so kailangan namin siyang pag-ipunan but ang aming meron na kaming building permit for that ang uumpisahan muna namin yung, yung gate sa harap and then the rest would be temporary fence muna para hindi madali kaming pasukin so we'll just think of ways para hindi madaling makapasok yung mga tao sa labas although kahoy pa rin muna yung ano namin and kawayan but we'll see Um, they don't scare us we know that the Lord is with us and kanina pinagpray lang namin sila na iliyo kami ng Panginoon sa mga ganong klaseng tao um, my fear is wag lang kaming magpangabot ano kasi when the situation calls nagiging bayulente po ako <laughs> wag naman hindi ako papahuli ng buhay but anyway um yung pinagpipray ko, control din din ako ng Panginoon. So, we'll see. We'll see what will happen. Yan. Good morning, good morning mga tangay. Welcome back to Balay Biyaya. We have so many things to do today. Including going to PhilHealth, SSS, BIR, and so many other government institutions. But we dropped by the Balay to check on what the guys are doing. And June is now... Uh... Ano ba yan? Grouting? Nagbulalagay na siya ng grout sa sahig dito sa second floor. And then, Kuya Lidio will finish the final coat here on the second floor sa lahat ng rooms. Kasi, sabi ni Sir Abbott, maglilipat na daw kami. At least sa kwarto lang, no? Yung tulugan lang namin sa Saturday door building. So, we'll see kung matutuloy. Tingnan natin. <laughs> Nandun si Kuya sa kabila. Ngayon, hinahanda niya na ang mga pintuan para sa ating final coat. So, if you remember, pininturahan na to before ni Kuya Lidio. But, since nagpinto tayo, syempre, naabot pa rin niya nung spay paint. Di ba, Kuya? Spay paint. Yan. Hello, mga tangay. I'll just give you a short, quick life update. 
right now because my husband left and I was supposed to shoot but the thing is all my gear are in the car so I have nothing to do right now uh, so I'll just give you a short a quick life update we have decided to move into the house here at Balay Biaya on Saturday because my husband wants to sleep here at night so we're only moving our bed because by Saturday all the rooms will be done no na na pinturahan na final coat na so we can move our our bed and maybe a few of our clothes and then next week we will be opening our shop at Robinson's our house of lemonade uh, we entrust the whole journey to the Lord and another shop at NCCC which is food naman. So right now we have so many things to do. Actually, sayang yung oras ko yun kasi supposedly may ginagawa ako. But since I have nothing to do, ito na lang yung ko. Sayang yung oras kasi ang dami ko sanang magagawa. Things are quite overwhelming kasi ang dami kailangan gawin. Um, lalo na kapag ka when you're dealing with the government institutions, no? Medyo, medyo stressful pala dito sa Philippines pagdating sa ganyan. But then, I just remember, no? Um, I just remember a verse, uh, Psalm 60, verse, Psalm 61, verse 2, it says, it, it says there, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. I always remember that verse whenever things are are overwhelming no back when I was still working uh, I would remember that verse all the time and then when I get tired I remember uh, what Jesus said so yeah come unto me all you who labor and are heavy laden I will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls so I remember all those verses whenever I'm tired or whenever I am overwhelmed no and the and after remembering those things no that's what i do when i pause i remember those verses and then i pray and then trust the whole situation to the lord and then i simplify what are the things that i can simplify so that my decision making will be easier or my schedule will be more simplified i don't have to stress and make things so complicated so that i can live a life based on God's design. So yun. In case you're building your house too, in, in case you're setting up your business too, I know, or in case you're running your household and you are stressed and you're doing so many things at the same time, you're working from home, you're being a mom, you're being a dad, you're being an OF, you are an OFW, you are doing putting on so many hats all at the same time. And it can get stressful and overwhelming. I hope that you would, uh, well, you can use that as well, no? You can employ the same tactic. You can pause, you can pray, and you can simplify. Sana useful. That's it for now. I'll take a look at what I can do outside. So, ito po yung right side ng balay. Left side siya kung nakaharap ka from the street. So, Ganyan na itsura, pinipintarahan na nung mga kasamahan natin yung mga downspout na kinabit ni ng Brother Danny. Hindi ako masyadong nag dito kasi hindi, <laughs> hindi siya safe. And then kung makikita niya po, parang naka-expose, ano? Naka-expose itong mga... Ito lang, pagdahan natin. Naka-expose itong mga tubo. Bakit naka-expose yan? May nagtanong si Mark Ocampo. Uh, wag po kayo mag kasi tinaas po namin yung bahay, no? Yung road level, kung mapapansin ninyo. Dapat ito ay... Uy, first time ko nakita yung pocket garden from this angle. Yan, so... Yan. Okay. Tatambakan pa po ito para matago yung mga... Uh, ano ba yan? Yung plumbing, no? Matatago po yan. Ito ay para sa electricals, yung kable na yan. Pag tinam uh, pwede tayo mag-start magtambak kapag ka nakapag gate na hindi gate fence na tayo kasi meron po tayong fence but 
yun nga gaya nga sabi ko temporary muna yung gagawin so eventually later on you know, kapag napag-ipunan na namin yung aming uh, fence talaga yung totoong fence ay pwede na natin tong gawin so yung pocket, pocket garden mahuhuli po siya ng konti kasi hindi pa rin naman natin kayang <laughs> punuin niya ng plants sa ngayon pag ipunan natin ulit yan so eventually no lord willing maging uh, maganda itong project na to pero pag ipunan natin ng konti pero ang pwede mangyari is lagyan na lang nila ng hollow blocks tapos yan yung may 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 ano yan may tambak yan para ma tiles at pwede siyang upuan diyan for now punin natin ng plants yung palibot and then to follow na lang yung plants na nagaka-cascade from top hanggang pababa kung kaya kung hindi what to do we'll see yan so that's it for now tingin tayo ng iba pang pwede maging update this is one of the homes that we like so much yan po so nagumpisa kami magumpisa kami mag start magpagawa ng bahay noong May 4, 2020. So, bigyan ko po kayo ng, ng schedule na, nung timeline namin, no? February 26, 2020 namin nakuha yung aming building permit. But, we had to fly back to Dubai to get our stuff, no? Na magpo for good na kami. Binenta namin lahat ng gamit namin doon, tapos mga sasakyan, and then bumalik kami rito. Para mag for good, March kami nakarating kaso nag lockdown. Lockdown for two months, hindi kami nakapagpatrabaho. March, May na po kami nakapag-start magpagawa ng bahay. So, May, every time dumadaan kami dyan kasi ito yung ruta namin everyday. Nakikita naman yung bahay na yun. Ang ganda-ganda. Talagang isa sa mga favorite namin na ano, very simple. Kung mapapansin nyo, medyo magkamukha kami ng bubong. Nagkataon lang po yun. Matatapos na yung balay namin. Pero, doon yata. Alam ko matatapos na siya eh. Pero may ginagawa pa rin sila ngayon. Okay. Kanina nasa sasakyan ako. Napansin ko si Brother Danny nag-aano. Hello Brother Dan. Ano pong ginagawa niyo? Hinahanap ko na po ng muhon. Muhon. Nakalubog po ba yun? Hindi ko lang po alam. Ah. Natakpan na kasi nagatambak tayo dito lagi. may ginto na, no? Wala aman. <laughs> Di ba kaya yan? Hindi kaya yan? Ayun! Ayun! It's there! Ayan po! Ayan, no? Ayun! Ayun, no? Ayan ang boundary marker. Oo. Nahanap po ni Ivan ang mohon. So, yan yung boundary. Sa kabila, hanapin natin. Kasi mag-start na sila mag- mag-start na sila mag-layout ng gate. So, sa last na check po namin, yung mohon ay somewhere do uh, somewhere here. Hindi namin, ang sabi ni Abit, nakapasok daw ito eh, sa boundary line. I'm not sure. We will check. And, we'll see. Para pag nag-layout sila dito, maayos na. Tatanggalin niya. I'm not sure kung tatanggalin nito. Baka after pa. Wait po. Singit lang mga tangay. Shameless plug lang po. I will be collaborating with the overseas Filipino entrepreneurs. And they'll be asking questions about how I became an OFW, why we are into real estate, why we chose apartment business as our choice of investment, and all the other things in between. This will be on Thursday, February 11 at 10 in the evening. It will be on their Facebook page. It's going to be a Facebook Live so that you can send your questions and we can, engage, we can interact with each other through the comment section after the talk. So OFE is actually um, Overseas Filipino Entrepreneurs and they are a group of young men based in Singapore and they are advocating for us OFWs to become entrepreneurs, no? For us not to be content in being employees but become employers ourselves through our small businesses. So if you're interested in in the topic how I became an OFW, how we 
uh, how we started our investments and all those things, I hope that you would drop by their page on Thursday at 10 in the evening so that we can ano, we can share no, and learn from each other. Kwentuhan tayo po ngayong Thursday. So, see you on Thursday at 10 p.m. Start na po tayo mag bakal sa ating sa foundation ng ating gate. So, this is Brother Danny. Hi, Brother Dance! In it! <laughs> So, nagbabakal na po tayo. Ito yung sentro po ng bakal kaya ka. Kasi may sobra yun doon ako no yung sasimil ko na. Good morning. Good morning mga tangay. It's Saturday, the last day of the work week. And nililinis na nila ang ating balay. So, hi June! Ayan. Si Kuya Lidio, naglilinis na. Ayan. Si Kuya Lidio. And then... Si Kuya Elmo, tinatapos na nila yung kitchen cabinet. Ayun ulit yung amoy. Amoy ng shop ni Papa. <laughs> Yan. And then, tingnan natin ang cabinet. Okay. So, unti-unti na siyang nabubuo. Sana ma-achieve natin. And that's it for us this week. But before we say goodbye, of course, we would like to say hello to our new Tangais. Uh, so welcome po to our community. Welcome to the community. And uh, welcome to the channel. Unahin ko na si Miss Risa from Houston. Sabi niya, gorgeous house will be watching until it is finished. Watching from temporary residence here in Bulacan. And alam niyo po ba na si Miss Risa, at Risa, mm -hmm. ay pinanood niya yung ating videos from the very beginning. At hindi ito yung house build lang ha, yung home build journey. Pinanood niya pati yung pag natin from Dubai, mm -hmm. yung things I'm grateful for, yung soul care during COVID, and we appreciate you spending time with us because we know that our videos are quite long. So thank you very much. Also, hello rin kay Maria. Ganun din, nagka-marathon din siya para mapanood ang ating mga videos. Ang kwento naman niya, Ang name niya actually is Amping. Mm -hmm. At ang kwento naman niya is yung kuya niya yung OFW. Mm -hmm. At ang sabi niya, gusto niya daw, wal ay hindi masayang yung pinaghihirapan ng kuya niya OFW. So we are with you. Uh, I-share mo lang lagi yung kuya mo. And I hope that he would subscribe to us as well. Hello also to Jello Mata. At uh, Marife P. Season who is watching mm -hmm. us from Los Angeles. At good news. Good news. May good news tayo. Marami pong salamat mga tangay. Tayo po ay 3,000 na. Praise mm -hmm. God. Salamat po. Meron pa, meron ko pang good news. Ayun, saka umabot na po ng 200,000 views ang ating channel. Ayun, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, sa inyong pong suporta. At walang sawang sumusubaybay po sa inyong mga video. Sana po nakakatulong kami sa inyo at nakaka-inspire. At marami pa po kami ano, gustong i-share sa inyo about our experiences in our home build. Kundi po sa mga businesses na i-open po namin soon. Yeah, so our hope, our, our, our dream for this channel is for us to be able to help influence at least one OFW to maximize their time abroad so that they can retire mm -hmm. on their own terms here in the Philippines or elsewhere. But of course, we also want to show them how to learn to live uh, by God's design as we try ourselves to learn by uh, to live by God's design. Bago po kami magpaalam, isang katanungan mula kay Beauty for Ashes, Isaiah 61. Ang ganda ng niya. Yes. At sabi niya, Hello po, marathon the episodes on your house. What brand of interior paint did you use? Ayun. Uh, ginamit pa namin sa amin pong interior. Ganun na rin po sa, ano, sa exterior. Same brand po ay Boysen. Po, the number one paint in the Philippines. Ayan, hindi po ito sponsored na. Pero Boysen, baka naman. <laughs> Ayan, sa marami po aming ano, uh, product ng Boysen na aming pong nilamit dito sa aming tahanan. Tulad po ng skin, skin food. Ayan, nation po yung brand niya. Boysen din po yung may gawa niyan. And then, yung mga ginamit po namin na mga solvent paint sa aming pong uh, uh, kusina, sa cabinets, Ayan, sa mga pintuan. Boysen din po yung brand and to be specific po, yung color po na aming pong napili sa aming pong walls, sa interior walls, ay just about white po yung pangalan niya. Hindi siya puting-puti, hindi rin siya yung uh, malayo sa puti. 
Paano ko man sabihin? Just about white kaya ako. Malapit lang sa puti. Kaya siya just about, about white. white. Medyo medyo white. Yes. Parang white pero hindi white. Mm -hmm. Para siyang off-white. Pero ang kagandahan po nun, malamig siya sa mata. Kahit na medyo semi, ano siya, ang semi-gloss po yung ginamit namin. Hindi siya matte. So ang kagandahan po nun ay pag gabi po, nagre-reflect lang yung ilaw. So mas gumaganda yung walls. Ayun. At saka ang gusto ni Janice kasi yung talagang bright na bright na white. Kasi mm. ang ceiling namin, pure white lang siya para magbabounce yung light. Mm. Pero yung ginawa namin sa wall medyo, inaba namin siya ng konti. Nilagyan namin ng shade of gray. Okay. So iba po yung gusto niya, iba yung gusto ko. Mm. Ang gusto ko sana, just like our intro notes, it says here building our Hugo home. Well, we want this house mm. to be a place of Hugo. It's a Danish word po which means it's uh, ano ba, yung cozy contentment, mm -hmm. no? Merong yung well-being ng tao, enjoying the simple things in life. I wanted this house to be bright white, uh, parang yung Scandinavian na uh, design, no? Uh, but the thing is, of course, my husband has his own style, I, I want something else. So we have to come together and compromise, no? Mm -hmm. We have to meet in the middle. So ito na po, naging just about white. Gustong gusto ko bright white, pero ayaw niya ng bright white. So mention naging just about white. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let us know if you want us to do a video on sino ba ang nasusunod sa pagpapagawa ng bahay. Si husband ba? Si wife? Si engineer ba? O si client? O oh, akong client. <laughs> Ayun, kasi marami kaming mga... I mean, uh, pagkakaiba sa ano when it comes to uh, finishing touch sa aming pong tahanan. So, siya may gusto, ako may gusto rin. So, minsan ay nagkakaiba talaga yung pagpili namin kung ano yung magiging tsura niya. Okay. So, let us know if you want us to talk about it in the next video. No? Sino mm -hmm. ba ang nasusunod? Si husband ba? Si wife ba? Si engineer ba? O si client? So, I think that will be an interesting talk. Uh, Yan. Okay, so thank you very much for spending time with us. Ayun. See you po in the next video. And ingat po kayo and God bless.